uh, with a fair degree of emotion that I move that leave of absence for today and tomorrow, the 25th and the 26th of October, be given to the Honourable Member for Barton for personal reasons. Uh, members across the chamber uh, will be aware of the circumstances that have, that have hit Linda uh, overnight. Uh, Linda Burney, in her statement that she's put out, has asked for privacy and has said that she will speak when she is able to. Uh, I think we all need to respect that it's for Linda to make those statements when she is ready. I would simply uh, say, and I don't think it's presumptuous of me to speak on behalf of the whole House, uh, to say that Linda is a much loved and deeply respected member of this place, uh, and that for all of us, all of our thoughts are with her and, and her family, and for those of us who pray, all of our prayers are with her uh, at a time that could not be more difficult. Uh, I thank the House and wish all uh, our thoughts and love to Linda Burney. And I think, um, the Leader of the House. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Government, uh, firstly I'd like to congratulate the Managed Opposition Business for making that statement um, and getting through it as well as he did. Uh, and on behalf of the Government, our deepest condolences go to Linda Burney and her wider family for the most unimaginable tragedy that can occur to anyone uh, with children and close ones. And of course, uh, we'll do everything on our, in our power on our side of the House to make this time as, uh, as reasonable as possible for Linda and of course the members of the Labor Party who must be feeling very deeply and keenly uh, the tragedy that's befallen one of their members. The Manager of Opposition Business and the Leader of the House have eloquently spoken on behalf of the whole House. The question is that the motion moved by the Manager of Opposition Business be agreed to. All those of that opinion say aye. To the contrary, no, the ayes have it.